Okay, so the first thing I want to um, shout out is firstly to you guys that came. Man, so cool. We had, I we needed, we didn't even know exactly how many people, but there would have been around about 600 people from Team Kickass there, which is so freaking epic. Like, that's huge. That's the most we've ever had. So it's so cool to see the team growing and growing and growing. And um, what I also want to recognize is, in, so what they recognize is the people that have cumulatively earned a hundred thousand dollars in isogenics, a hundred thousand US dollars. And in Team Kickass, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. That are Laura Cook, you. yeah, uh, Zola McDonald, Rebecca Fraser Jones, Joel Sterling, John O'Boyd, Sigrid McCliskey, Tane Hekata, and Anna Potter. So we had eight people in Team Kickers that have earned over a hundred thousand US dollars from isogenics. How sick is that? We also had two people that have earned over two hundred and fifty thousand US dollars. Amanda Fraser Jones and Diana Fraser Jones. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Diana. So I mean, how cool is that? And um, and then I got recognised as the first. Um, person uh, to earn a million US dollars from New Zealand so that was a massive recognition for Team Kickass. Team Kickass is the first team in the history of the world to to get to that size uh, in New Zealand. So you guys that's all of you. Yeah that's a that's an award that we all share which is like so so cool. And another cool thing was they had the top five income earners in New Zealand. Four out of five were Team Kickass. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we had Anna Potter at number five. We had uh, Amanda at number three. We had Diana, no, Diana number three, Amanda number two, me number one. So, I mean, to have four out of five of the top, top five in our team, pretty damn sick. And I know next year it's going to be five out of five. So that's pretty freaking exciting. So I just wanted to shout out and show you guys that you're part of a boss ass gangster team. So it's, it's pretty freaking cool. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to remind you guys, quite a lot got announced and I know it's so overwhelming. You're like, oh my gosh, what executive lifestyle bonus, banana shake, free membership, ah! Okay, well, I thought free membership, but then I remembered that we don't have membership anymore. So <laughs> my bad. But um, what we do have coming is Banana Shake, which I'm so, so excited about. Um, banana Shake, banana's always been like literally my favorite flavor, so I am <sighs> pumped. It's a seasonal shake and it's dropping on the 24th of March. So the beauty of that, you guys, is that that's exactly a month from now. And because when that shake drops, that's gonna be our Blitz Week. That's going to be the Team Kick-Ass Blitz Week where we all link arms and go psycho. So for the next four weeks leading up to Blitz Week, we want to line up as much as we can, as many enrollments as we can, as many rank advances as we can in that one week. So everyone rank advance and go psycho in that one week of the 24th of March, right? How cool is that? So that's a massive incentive for the Blitz Week. We also have 10% off for all new members that buy over 195 BV. So that is super, super cool. Now, if anyone knows what day the 10% off starts, please put it in the group chat because I was unable to locate that. But 10% off for new members, that is amazing. We also have the ISA Derby, which launched an all expenses paid trip for you and five of your best friends to Thailand. Holy shit balls, which I'm gonna run through in a second. Uh, the executive lifestyle bonus and the crystal reset bonus, okay? So, what I want to tell you guys in this call is with the crystal reset, all the bonuses that you earn on the crystal reset, so if you hit all of them, and all the bonus, so if you start from zero, like just starting, and you hit all the crystal reset bonuses, all the PIBs, like the bonuses for enrolling new people, for creating consultants, and all the cycles that comes with that, if you do that, I've worked it out to be approximately nine to eleven thousand dollars in PIBs, eleven thousand uh, in bonuses, eleven thousand dollars if they all get started on a premium pack. Okay, so, so I say around about ten grand. So crystal reset means is ten thousand dollars sitting on the table here for you. Okay, if you get to crystal executive and you've got six months to do it. Well, now you've got five months because the reset started on the twenty seventh of January. Okay, but on top of that. 
is, oh, and for you new people, if you're relatively new to isogenics, if you started, like, if your initial six months hasn't passed, like for Shane, for instance, he's still in his first, um, you know, he still hasn't gone past his reset dates. So his dates is his initial reset. Does that make sense? So he keeps his original crystal reset dates. He doesn't get reset to the new ones. Does that make sense? So if you're in your first six months of isogenics, your crystal dates in your back office and your home screen, you'll see the dates there. And those are the dates you have to hit the bonuses. Just a quick recap in case you guys are quite new on this call and you're like, what are these bonuses and how do I hit them? Um, the first bonus you want to hit is crystal manager. And basically the bonuses are for how, for creating a certain number of consultants within a certain time frame. So the first bonus is, um, yeah, if your dates have expired, you get all, you get a chance, you get, if your dates have expired in the back office, your start date gets reset to the 27th of January. So essentially everyone that's been in isogenics longer than six months, your, your crystal reset date, that like isogenics says, you know, you missed out on the bonuses last time because you didn't, you know, don't worry, we'll give you another chance. So they reset your start date as if you're starting on the 27th of January. So the first bonus expires, you've got 60 days to get to crystal manager. So that takes you through to approximately the 27th of March. So that's actually not that far away. Might even be before that. If someone has the crystal reset dates, if they can put them in the chat, that would be amazing. But around about the 27th, like the exact dates, if someone around about the 27th of March, you've got till that time. So around about one month from now to create two consultants. Okay. That's the first crystal bonus. So create two consultants by the 27th of March. For you new people, that means you've introduced two people yourself and they have introduced two friends. So when you introduce two friends, you become a consultant and then you help any of the two people that you've referred to become consultant, that makes you a manager. And if you do it within that time frame, you're a crystal manager and you get the crystal manager bonus. The next step is director, which is when you have six consultants, okay? And you have four months to achieve your six consultants. So February, March, April, May. So around about the 27th of May is the cutoff for crystal director. And then, so you gotta create six consultants by 27th of May. And then the final one is executive to create 10 consultants and you've got to around, I'm just guessing the dates, but I'll get someone to type them in. Oh, there we go, 22nd of March, crystal manager. Awesome, Amanda. If you can put the director and executive dates in there, that would be amazing. So you've got till 22nd of March to create two consultants. And then you've got till the 20, pro 2nd of May to create a total of six or 17th of May for crystal director six. And <laughs> hopefully she's typing as fast as I'm talking. 12th of July, you've got to create your 10 consultants. For you guys that are brand new, there's, there's all these ranks, right? Consultant, manager, director, executive. Those are, those are how many consultants you have, but there's only two pay ranks. You're either paid as a consultant. So as a consultant and manager or director, you're paid as consultant. And what that means is that you get bonuses for introducing new people. You get bonuses for um, commissions and BV and cycles. You get bonuses when you rank advance, like you go manager, director, um, and you get bonuses when you create consultants. That's cool, right? However, once you hit executive, the biggest final gangster rank executive is when you've helped 10 people that you have introduced to become consultant. Now manager and director, it doesn't matter which side your consultants are on right or left for a director. You can have all six people on one side and that still makes you a director. It doesn't matter if they're on the right or the left. However, for executive, you need 10 consultants and they have to be five on your right and five on your left. Now, why is it so crucial? So pretty much to get as much money as fast as possible with isogenics, you want to get to executive as fast as possible and stay there. That's it. If you just focus on that, because this is why once you're an executive, your pay structure changes. You don't just get your bonuses for introducing new people or creating consultants and rank advancing and cycles. You also get a 10% match on the income of your consultants. Okay. So say me, 
Right now, I have 20 consultants, okay? One of them is Amanda, who earns sick money. Another one, you know, so all my consultants, all my 20 consultants, whatever they are earning every single week, I get a 10% match on their income just because I have a minimum of 10 consultants at all time. So when I had executive, my pay per week doubled and it stayed there. And that's why um, I've been able to be the top income earner because I never, ever, 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 ever have less than 10 consultants. So I'm always getting that 10% matching bonus forever to infinity on all of my people. So everyone that I have personally introduced, I get a 10% match on what everything I earn there every week. How cool is that, right? So executive is where everything starts. And to make things even more crazy, unnecessarily generous, Isogenics have announced the new executive lifestyle bonus. So on top of that money, so basically what that means is that on top of that money, so you're as an executive, you've got 10 consultants and they have to be, they have to stay consultants. So say this person is grandma and then grandma goes inactive and you're down to nine. You're no longer paid as executive. So that means you no longer get the 10% um, the match on your people's income and you no longer get the executive lifestyle bonus. That's why it'd be crazy just to have 10 consultants. You want 15, 20, right? So that if some of them fall off, doesn't matter because there's always a minimum of 10. That's how you earn the gangster money. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> so the ex what the executive lifestyle bonus is, pretty much if you, are, if you stay paid as executive, that means you stay 10, minimum 10 consultants at all time, every single day of the month, 12 months a year, they just said, right, here's another 10,000 US dollars to have just because you stayed as an executive for a whole year. Now, 10,000 US equates to about, what, 15, 16,000 New Zealand, maybe even more. So as an executive, um, with the executive lifestyle bonus, there's around about 15 grand New Zealand extra, okay? Just sitting there right now. As the crystal reset, like I shared, you've got about 11,000 US of bonuses that you earn. That again, quite equates to another 15,000 New Zealand. So right now, there's 30,000 New Zealand dollars sitting there on the table for you to grab. Now, if, and that's if you get to crystal executive within the within the before the crystal reset is finished. Now, this gets even stupider because right now they've also launched the ISA Derby. So if you do that within three months instead of six months, you will get an all expenses paid trip to Thailand with five of your best friends <laughs> to and you get literally spoiled, rotten, and um I mean, these ISA Derby trips are incredible. They not only, like, they take you to Thailand, put you on the flashes. Um, all you do is turn up to the airport with your passport. That's it. Everything is taken care of. So you get picked up. You get taken to your accommodation, five-star accommodation. You get to your room. There's, like, all these ice drinks, like, clothing and swag and gifts and, like, bags and all these products. And then, like, when we went to Cambodia, they're, like, wait outside. Go in your tuk-tuk. We jumped in our little tuk tuk and we did, like, an amazing race all around Cambodia, around Siem Reap, picking up all these clues and then you get all these prizes. They take you out for dinners. They took us to like, um, they hired out the one in Cambodia. They hired out an entire, what's the main temple in Siem Reap, like the most visited tourist attraction in the world. I suggest hired the whole thing out for us and we had like a candle lit dinner in there. It was crazy. And on those trips, you also do a give back day. So we went and we um, supported like children that were being saved from sex trafficking and like all this cool stuff. Like I can't even explain how amazing these trips are. So not only is this an epic, epic trip with five of your best friends, all expenses paid, five star to Thailand, but guess what's even more epic? When you post on your social media that you've won an all expenses paid five star trip from Isogenics to Thailand, that is fucking gangster. And that's what people see as like, oh my gosh, she's going to Thailand fully paid for by Isogenics. Like that is sick. I've been on 27 of these like, trips, all expenses paid five-star trips. And seriously, people are like, 
oh my God, you're like in Cambodia and Hawaii and, and all these five star places. And I'm like, yeah, it was all free from isogenics, <laughs> you know, but they're like, what a gangster. And they just see like, whoa, what a high roll. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing all this cool stuff. But it's just trips I won from isogenics. I think I'm like a hell baller, but actually it's just free <laughs> for working hard. I mean, how many other companies do that? So um, what I, I don't know if hopefully you're, gonna, you're picking up what I'm putting down. But if you go psycho for the next 90 days, there's 30 grand cash and a trip to Thailand with five of your best friends. Now, if that's not an incentive to pull finger out of ass and go for it, I don't know what the hell is. But the, the real question I want you guys to, to ask yourself, what would you do right now with $30,000 cash? Because the reality is it's sitting right there. Kathy Cougar is like, take it, take it. And she's, <laughs> she's literally got 30 grand like on her hand, like ching, ching. This is what I say. Okay, there's this credit card loaded with 30 grand. Are you going to grab it? Because as of the 12th of July, it's gone forever. What are you going to do about it? I'm like, fucking grab it. Like, holy crap. There's no, um, th there's not like a limit on how many people can get that money, right? Okay, the trip to Thailand, it's limited to eight teams, but the, the cash, there's no limit. She's just like, Kathy's like, grab it. Why aren't you taking the cash? This is crazy. It's right there. Okay. So get the cash. What? It'd be crazy not to get the cash, right? I know for me, I, and I would never tell you guys to do something I'm not going to do. Am I going to get the crystal executive bonus? 100% every single one, I'm going to cash it in. I'm never going to tell you guys to do things I'm not doing. Am I going to win the ISA Derby? You betcha. I'm already there. I just got to renew my passport because I know I'm going to already win the trip. That's how solid I am because I know what effort I'm going to put in. I'm going psycho. Am I going to wait for six months to hit the reset? Hell no. I'm doing it in the next 30 days. I'm going to cash in 30 grand in the next three months. Who's with me? Like, this is crazy, right? Is it going to be pretty? Oh, hell no. Probably going to go weeks without showering, right? You think I look bad now? Holy crap. Wait till a month's time. I'm going to be dreadlock, rat's tail. It's going to be, oh, hell no. Poor Shane. I'm going to be stinking. I won't wash under my, you know, have arm hair growing out the side. It's going to be nasty. But guess what? You may be laughing now, but when I'm cruising around my 30 grand cash, I'm going to be the one laughing. That's for sure. So guys, just, I want to just really put it strongly to you. Every single one of you can do this. And one thing I want to say is your results in isogenics to date, like say you've been sifting around, like trying to convince grandma to do it and she denied you and you're like, fuck, you know, you haven't really had much success in isogenics to date. That does not determine what's possible for you in the next 90 days, the next six months. That is not a reflection of what's possible. You can make a decision right now on this call to go psycho and hit it, hit every single one. When you think about it, executive, what is it? 10 people and the whole planet that have two, that have two mates. That's it. That is it. And so I would love to hear from you guys, if you have the courage in the chat, what would you do with 30 grand right now? How would that money help you? What would you do with that money? What would you buy? Where would you go? I'd love you guys to share some in the chat of what that money would mean to you because you have to get so solid on what, what you would do with that, how it would help you. And that's going to drive you to hit it. Okay. It is so, so, so awesome. Okay. Now, Isa Derby. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what to do to win it. But long story short, if you get to Crystal Executive in the next three months, you will 100% win the trip. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, you will win the trip because you get points for everything um, for building the business, enrolling new people, getting them to consult it, and you rank advancing, right? So if you get to Crystal Executive in the next three months, you'll get 30 grand and a trip to Thailand. I guarantee it. If not, Hey, if not, if you don't win it from isogenics, I'll show you the trip to Thailand for sure. If you get to executive, it's on. Okay. I'll take you as my plus one. All right. So this is the website to go to for all the information about ISA Derby. Okay. So it's ISA, uh, ANZ dot ISA Derby. Is it? Yeah. ANZ dot ISA Derby dot com. So that's it there. ANZ 
www.isoderby.com. Okay, that's where all the rules are, all right? So this bad boy here walks you through everything you need to know to win the trip. How sick is it? It's so cool. Okay, the race is on. So this is what you do. The prize, return economy for Phuket uh, from your nearest city, four nights luxury accommodation at the Intercontinental Phuket Resort, transport, exclusive gifts and merchandise, team building activities, and cultural experiences. Sweet. So contest period, 24th of, ah, it starts today. Holy shit balls. Okay, so it actually starts today. I didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, Shane got a fright. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it starts today. But the cool thing is you don't have to lock in your teams till the 22nd of March, okay? So you've got essentially one month to go as psycho as you can to get into a team, okay? So the, the, the race is three months, February, March, April, May. So three months to go psycho. And then the trip is in July. Check out that in July when it's shitty as pissing down with rain, you get to go to Thailand. Sweet. So everyone has to have a minimum. So you get into teams of six. Okay, here we go. Create your team of six. So you're going as six of you are going as psycho as possible. All right. And whatever, however many, and they track your points in your back office. So you can see how many points you've got at any time. Now, if your team is one of the top eight teams, the top eight point teams win the trip. If you're in the top eight teams, but you personally don't have 80 points, Everyone else in your team went psycho, but you slacked off. You don't get to go. So you have to have a minimum of 80 points to go on the trip. I would say to be safe, everyone would, wants to be aiming for around 100. If you get 150 points, you're guaranteed to get the trip. Okay. And if you get to executive, you'll get 150 points totally. So you get in a member, a team of six with a team leader. Now you don't, um, the, the team leader just has to be a consultant or above, okay? It doesn't have to be an executive or whatever. A consultant can be a team leader. My first derby, I, actually my first like four or five derbies, I was the leader and I was, you know, just a consultant at the start. And my team all like sucked balls, so I was the only one that won. <laughs> but it's all good. Um, so there can be two directors or above. So all the directors and executives in our team, we're going to like buddy up. Okay, so teams of six, um, and think about it. Who do you want to go to Thailand with? You know, you can use that to see who you want to be in a team with. Um, you earn points by introducing new customers, by rank advancing your people, so creating consultants. Retention, so when your people do orders, like future orders, um, they stay on the products, and when they get into the Isobody Challenge, that's what you get teams for. The top eight teams with the highest points win the trip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how do you get, how do you get points? Um, okay. So you register in your back office. Remember you've got till the 22nd of March to register. So in your back office, you go in and, and the team leader registers the team. Okay. So here's the points for enrolling someone you get, there's different points. So if, if you enroll them on hundred BV, it's two points. Um, you know, 141 to 299 points. It's, 190, sorry, you guys know what I mean. 140 to 300 BV points, you get three points for the Derby. And if they enroll on a premium pack or higher, which is 300 points, you get four points for your Derby. So you can see you really want to get every single person started on a premium pack because that's easy points, right? Um, because a 30, how many BV in a 30 day cleanse? 200 something. Yeah, so 30-day cleanse, you'll get them on three, you'll get three points, but premium pack or above, you get four points. So that's awesome. Rank advancing. Now, this is the cool part. You get points when people you've introduced go to consultant or manager or director, and when you yourself go to consultant, manager, or director. Okay. So each time you create a consultant, you get four points. So if you're going to executive, you're going to create 10 consultants and you're going to get 40 points from that alone. How sick is that? When you, when you become or develop a manager, you get six points. For director, 10 points. When you become or create an executive, it's 15 points. Now, here's the cool thing. When you, if you hit platinum, 
<laughs> you get 15 points. Yeah! <laughs> so now that's, that, that, that is not the easiest way to get points for sure. But hey, give it a crack. Anything's possible. Um, but here we go. If you help reach or help your new team reach a new golden circle rank. Now note, it's not silver circle. Okay. Now, someone asked me today, what's the difference between golden circle and silver circle? Here it is. So a silver circle, you know how you can be like a manager or director and you can be manager one star or manager two star or manager three star? That's silver circle. So silver circle is when you're not yet an executive. Once you've reached executive, you are golden circle. So these points here can only be, um, you can only get them if you're an executive. So get to executive, then you can get those points. And when you hit one star golden circle, two star golden circle, three star golden circle. And for all you young people, if you're looking to get in the start 1000 um, and get recognized on stage in Salt Lake City or next year, what you want to do is get to Crystal Executive, three star. That's the equivalent of start 1000. Every person that enters the Ice Body Challenge, you get one point. Yeah, yeah. And this, this, you guys, this is where the last derby that I won, this is how we got our points. Retention. So for every customer, every time they do an order of 200 BV, um, so you get points when they order, but then if they do a repeat order on their auto ship or the next month, if it's over 100 BV, you get one point. If it's over 200 BV, you get three points. And that's for, and guys, I'm only telling this to our team, okay? Keep this on the d -low. But that's for as many orders as they do, okay? You get what I'm saying? So if someone's like, cool, I'm going to order 700 BV on my next order, say, wait, 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 wait. You should order 300 BV in one order and then 300 BV Oh, 200. If they say I'm going to order 800 BV in an order, say, no, no, no. Do four separate orders of 200 BV. That means you're going to get 12 points because every time they order 200 BV, you get another three points. Okay? Get what I'm saying? So <laughs> there are some sneaky ways you can win this derby, but let's just keep that on the D low. <laughs> Every time a new person that you've enrolled, <laughs> hey, a win's a win. Whatever it takes, team kick us. <laughs> but <laughs> just don't tell other teams that, Kay, because it's a bit of a secret. Um, so every time someone that you've introduced during that derby period does an order of 200 BV, you get three points. I mean, guys, think about it. You get three points for enrolling them, enrolling someone. You get four points for enrolling someone on, an, on a premium pack. But you get three points just for them ordering 200 BV after they enrolled. Boom. How easy is that? So my advice is, yes, get people started, get to executive, but you want to encourage your people to order 200 BV orders as many times as possible after the derby starts, okay? So that is freaking awesome. I note this year they have put a, <laughs> a cap <laughs> on how many points that can be done for. So 18 points. So that is what, six orders. <laughs> so six orders, because last time they didn't have that cap. So look, like, Grandma, order up. <laughs> Grandma, max out your credit card, you know. But do it in orders of 200 BB. <laughs> She's like, why? I'm like, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just know that you want just say just stock up for the winter and the cool thing is you guys when that banana shake hits right that's during the contest period so you're going to get people ordering banana shake just make sure they do an order of 200 bv at a time make sense so if you're onto it you can very easily slay the points and slay the other teams and win the trip okay <laughs> just don't tell don't tell corporate that i told you to do that so each person you've enrolled, if they do subsequent orders of 200 BV, six orders, then boom, that's 18 points per new person you enroll if they just keep ordering. Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? Okay, so is there any questions on the ISA Derby? Because I know, and you guys, now is 100% of the time to hit me with questions on the Derby. Oh, whoops, I didn't see there's 20 questions. Um, okay, this is so cool, you guys, what you do with 30 grand. 
pay your, a credit card and go to Greece, buy a tri bike. I don't know what that is. That sounds sick. Um, move to Bali, pay the student loan, put off my put it, pay off the mortgage. Um, Canadian account, no. So Canadian and Americans, you guys have your own incentives and ISA derbies, but make sure you go to Canadian celebration this weekend. Um, this weekend coming is Canadian celebration. Go to that and you guys are gonna have your own trips announced, which is pretty cool. Um, go to Greece, get your own place, have freedom and space, pay some of your loan, buy a new car, holiday, pay off debt, put it back into the business so you can win more, hell yeah put it into my first home, pay for my dream wedding, clear debt, take the strain of my marriage, take the kids on holiday. This is so cool. Spending money for the overseas trip. This is so, so, so amazing. Yes, so once you're entered in a team, the points will be tracked in your back office. But I track them myself because the points often take a week to upload, okay? Oh, triathlon bike. Oh, sorry, I thought tri bike was some cool, crazy invention I haven't heard of. Okay, if your recognition rank, rank is two names, yes, only one person wins per, per account that wins. However, there's always an option to pay for your spouse to come if you want. Okay, we, if you, yes, correct. Yep, so you just pay for the second person. We live in Australia, but have Canadian accounts. If you convert your accounts, yep, totally. So if you wanted to be um, in the Derby, you could make your account, you could ring up Isogenics, ring up head office and ask them um, to convert to Australia if you want. But you guys will probably have like a sick ass trip for Canada as well. Um, I'm new here, this is my first time on Zoom. I got my box today. Yay, yeah, go okay, this is freaking epic. Okay, awesome. So honestly, Isa Derby is sick. And the fact that they have timed it at the same time as Crystal Reset and Executive Lifestyle Bonus, is unnecessarily epic and 10% off and banana shake and beer and kids shake and all this epic stuff. Like it's unnecessary. Kathy Cougar has gone crazy, but Hey, I'm high-fiving it and I'm pick, I'm picking up what she's putting down big time. Okay. So do we have to only sign up Kiwis and Aussies? No. So if you sign up people in America, UK, Canada, anywhere, those points count. Great question. Oh, okay. So here's the strategy for teams. This is what I recommend. Okay. Because often, and you guys, this is really, really important. Often people say, I want to be in the Derby team. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to win the trip. <laughs> Nick minute, dude, you haven't even rolled a single person. What the hell? Okay. So trust me, everyone wants to be in a team with people that are working on the same level as them, right? That's the key. Cause otherwise it's like, Damn it, Uncle Dad's done nothing. What the hell? It can be frustrating. So this is my strategy. So we've got until the 22nd of March till we lock in the teams, okay? Until then, you can chop and change. So here's what I'm thinking. We go psycho, all of us, okay? Everyone just goes psycho nutballs and until 22nd of March. Then we see who, where your points are at and that determines what team you get put into. Because would you agree if you're going psycho and you get put in a team with people that aren't, that are slacking off and doing sweet jack all, it's going to be frustrating, right? So my, in my opinion, like it's so, I know at the start you're just like, okay, let's all go together. And then you're like, this person sucks balls, damn it. Um, because they don't do anything. Because people often talk a big game, but they don't even take any action. So it can be frustrating. So what I recommend is that you go psycho until the 22nd of March, see where everyone's points are at, then lock in your teams, okay? So for everyone who's director or above, directors and executives that are running, we're gonna have to buddy up because only two of us can be in each team, right? Which is so cool. And then, so uh, my idea is that each director or executive brings their top two legendary people into the team their top two point earners at the end of the first month goes into the team with them. That's my recommendation. And then everyone else can just go as hard as you can and jump in teams. But hey, if you've got you know a group of mates and you all wanna go together, hell yeah, go hard. You do not have to be in the same downline. You can be in any, you don't have to be any financial link to anyone. So that's really, really cool. Um, yeah, yeah, great question. So it's just literally just enter your ID numbers and then um, the team leader, does that so 
to track your points, um, you can either track them yourself or in the back office, you have to be entered into a team to track them. So what we did last time is we entered in like preliminary teams. We entered in just like six here, six here, six here, six here, six here. And then we tracked our points that way. And then 22nd of March, we looked what everyone's got and then we changed the teams. Okay. So you can lock them in to track your points and then change the teams before the 22nd of March, which is the final cutoff day. So that's my, um, what if you rank advance in that time? Does it count as your rank at the start of the comp or when you lock into your team? Um, great question. So the Derby starts today. So whatever your rank is today, that's your starting rank. So if you um, become a different rank or create a different rank from today onwards, that's your points. Great question. This is so, so cool. Um, oh my gosh, this trip's just going to be absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, okay, so basically I'm going to, what well, you should, I mean, you guys have probably all got a director or an executive that you maybe resonate with or align with that would love to be in their team. Let them know. Say, Laura, I want to be in your team. And then, you know, she'll probably suss out, okay, guys, right, go hard for the first month, get as many points as you can. And then the top point, top six point earners will put in this team. The next six point earners will put in this team. You know, unless you have people that you really want to go with, that's cool. Um, but to win it, you're going to have to go hard. Like, this is, this is such an epic prize. People aren't going to be mucking around. But here's what, you know what? Even if you don't win the trip, right? Even if you just go as psycho as you can, even if you don't win, even if you're not in the top eight, guess what? You've built, you've increased your own income and you may have got to manager or director or executive. Like it, you cannot lose. The only way you can lose is if you count yourself out. Oh, I'm never going to be able to do it. I'm ne not even going to try. Is banana shake dairy free? I don't know. I don't think so. No, but I do know there is a dairy free new flavor coming out in a couple of months, which is so cool and so exciting. Um, so that's, that's awesome. So yeah, I would recommend if you've got a group of tight mates you want to go with, hell yeah, lock it in and go psycho. Um, but don't, but what I would say at the start of your derby, say guys, if we don't have a minimum of 40 points or 30 points at the end of the first month when it's time to lock in the team, just know that we could shuffle people around and you could get replaced by someone that is going harder, right? Just So just set that expectation at the start. Just say, look, we'll lock in the six, but it's just to see who's actually going to do this, nice. all right? Yeah, go, Laura. I just want to say quickly, when we won Nashville last, well, two years ago, Gabby made a rule before we got chosen onto teams and she made us qualify before so we had to get the 100 points i think it was 100 points before the qualifying date for our teams so the competition had barely started and for us to make it onto gabby's team which is pretty much the the winning team we'll see what you do um you had to be you had to get those points so you've got to be going hard from right now because it all counts till then and like I was only two years in and I got to go to Nashville and have the most incredible, incredible um, like time. It was the most mind-blowing experience. They're surely rotten. So go hard right now. Like don't stop. Try and qualify. Try and get the 80 points before it's even time to choose the teams. Like anyone can do it. Trust me. If I could, then everyone on this call can. Like it, you just got to hustle. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. And that's such a good idea, you know? Um, so yeah, whoever wants to be, <laughs> I, I don't know who I'm going to party up with, but yeah, if you want to be like in a winning team, you want to go psycho and Shane, that includes you, you know, Shane's the same as, and I did it myself. Remember She's I said, kick me out. I said, I'm not going to put myself in the top team if I don't get the top points. So I'm never going to tell you guys to do something that I'm not doing. And if you're like, okay, well, what do I do? Copy me. Literally just copy everything I do. Look, what do I do? Have a wellness Wednesday every week. I'm posting on my Facebook every week. I'm going psycho on my stories. Just copy me. Even my posts. Copy paste. Shit. You know, like, there's no point reinventing the wheel. Just copy what I do. Because it works. Legit. Okay. But obviously, you know, yeah, not everything works. Uh, but however, be warned. If I'm getting haters, 
you will too. <laughs> that means you're doing it right though. That means you're actually putting it out there, which is good. So yeah, I think that guys like we, I mean, look at the stats. We are literally one of the strongest teams in isogenics in the world. Okay. I think personally, we can have multiple team, multiple teams within team kick ass winning this trip. If we go psycho, Imagine if we took out all eight spots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the reality is some people have got their finger in their butthole right now. Let's be honest. You know, some people were like, I know some big leaders that didn't even come to celebration. Like they ain't going to be winning. Whereas in previous years, they have gone hard and won. So it's out with the old and in with the new. I'm freaking stoked. That means there's room for all you newbies. Step up, hustle, go psycho and win these trips. It's brilliant, you know? And guess what? There wasn't 30 grand on the table when we did it. There was just a trip. <laughs> just like go psycho, win the trip. Now there's this massive wad of cash alongside. You guys, imagine going to Thailand with 30 grand spending money. That's dangerous. You're going to get locked up for sure <laughs> with that amount of cash. Holy heck. How many, um, what is it, Thai Bart is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Imagine being, in the, imagine being in the shows with that. You'll get swarmed by ladyboys and it's going to be sick. It's going to be so fun. So, yeah, I just, I just, it's so, like, I'm, I've never been more fired up than I am right now. And as you guys know, I've got another incentive to be fired up. I've got to be a mom. And so, like, I am, I've got, you know, really six months to go as psycho, balls deep, just psychotic as I can, okay? And so, yeah, I love to have fun, but um, She Devil's going to come out, like, for sure over the next few months because I'm sick of mucking around. Um, so, oh, okay. How do I start with my first shake? Oh, well, oh, I love that. Boob job. Man, that's what I could have after the baby with a 30 grand. Yeah. <laughs> Good call, Elaine. Man, you could get multiple boob jobs with that money. That's sick. <laughs> multiple boobs. Oh, man. Um, okay, Kate, Kate, you should um, message whoever got you started, and they'll give you a welcome call to get you run you through the program, like how to use the shakes and all that stuff. But I did want to... Um, I did want to give you guys that were at Celebration um, a couple of the leaders. I would love you to share your takeaways because it's so overwhelming. We learned so much that it's like, ah, you kind of forget all this cool stuff, right? Um, but one thing that I took away is for all you, for you guys that are doing this derby, building this business, even if you're brand new, the most important thing hasn't changed. You need to use the products and transform your body. That's step number one. Because if you want to be enrolling people in isogenics and, and enrolling them and getting healthy and having amazing results, they're not going to join you unless you're doing it as well. So step number one, use the products. Go hard. Cleanse. It's a nutritional cleansing program. That means you have to cleanse. You've got to follow the system. And guess what? The flow on effects from that are amazing. All of you guys, enter the Isobody Challenge. Do it. I mean, we saw Greg and Tori taking out you know, 20 grand over the weekend for transforming their body. So my big takeaway and step number one for winning this derby and winning this money is entering the Ice and Body Challenge, transforming my body, putting the products in my body. I'm not going to go out and have butter chicken. I'm hitting a smoothie bowl, you know, because I want to get hot and that's how I'm going to get people drawn to me like, holy shit. And my other goal now is I'm going to be you know, prego, but still looking so hot. And then after baby, ice and milk. That's my new goal. <laughs> so, and I'm, baby, that's the truth because that's where it starts. Like we're living a healthy lifestyle. So my big takeaway for me personally is get in the ice and body challenge and use the products. You know, as we learned over the weekend, nothing is better fuel on the planet than our products. Legit, nothing comes close. One thing also, which I learned from the science talks, which I want to share, is that, because I get the question, why is this better than clean eating? Why is Ashton's products better than clean eating? And this is what I learned over the weekend. When you eat calories, right? Calories are energy, which is amazing. But it's actually the trace minerals and the vitamins that are required in the meal to unlock the energy from calories. So if you eat a burger, you've got enough calories to power Auckland for a week, right? In terms of calories. However, do we feel excited and energized? No, we feel tired. 
because the burger doesn't have the trace minerals, nutrients, and vitamins to unlock the energy from the calories. That's why iStrength's products are so epic because every product contains all the trace minerals, all the live enzymes, all the vitamins, everything to unlock the energy from the food and deliver it straight to your body. So when I'm out eating my chicken salad, that's great, that's fun, it's clean, but I'm not getting much energy from that because we all know there's not much nutrients in our fresh foods any, anymore, unfortunately. That's why Isogenics is the best food and the best fuel on the planet. And I just, I thought I'd share that because that was something that I um, didn't really understand before. Um, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense as to why this is better than clean eating. Okay, and now I'm going to pass it to some of these guys to share their um, takeaways. Laura, do you want to go first? Yeah. So I'm going to get each of the leaders to share two takeaways. So I'll get Laura, Mark, um, Bix, Manda, Jack, um, any of you guys that are board of directors that want to share. Um, yeah. Okay. So Laura, kick us off. Hello, everyone. So many people. <sighs> so exciting. Um, first off, I have so many notes from this event. It's ridiculous. So I'm just going to try and pick my favorites. Oh, um, and um, just one second. Or not. The, the, <laughs> the baby thing, just keep that off social media for now because not that many people know. No, but isogenics people know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. So don't tell anyone about, about Gabby's baby. <laughs> so for me, the biggest thing that I got from this personally was that you have to be two feet in to be what is it so you have to be two feet in or two feet out. Or two Until you're feet ready out. To be two yeah feet so you have to or, like you can't just have one foot in right you can't have one foot in isogenics you can't expect to know what you're missing out on if you haven't gone all in if you haven't put both feet in and given it everything you have you can't walk away from it and be like yeah i tried it didn't really work for me when you didn't give it everything that is something that they really drilled home at celebration and that was massive and there was one more thing that really hit hard. And I know for you guys that were there, our last part of the event was Zach Slogan was freaking empowering. Everyone had goosebumps. There were tears. And it was one sentence that he said, and it was, you're not broken, you're being built. You have to fight back. And basically what he means by that, if you're going through things, think of it as growing through things. Yes. This is all molding you into what you're going to become. You're not broken. If you feel like you're struggling, if you feel like things are hard, this is all something that is going to create the amazing person that one day, or you already are, to be honest. But it's all part of the process. So you just have to trust that and embrace it and look at it in a positive light and fight back. Don't just accept that things are hard right now. Fight back and make it better. And he had us at the end of the event, like the whole room is screaming, like fight back at the top of our lungs. Like, our, uh, yeah, <laughs> our like freaking throats were nearly bleeding, but it was so empowering. So I'm going to pass you on to Mark, my beautiful fiance, in case you haven't met him yet. Um, and he's going to share his big, biggest takeaway. And it's his first ever right. celebration. So show him some love, please. Okay. Hey, guys. Um... As Laura said, uh, some of you probably haven't met me yet. Um, I'm Mark. It was very strange to be at, uh, at uh, the celebration because everyone I met with Laura was like, hey, you're Mark. I've seen you so many times on photos. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was really, really fun to be there. Um, such, such a cool community. I really, really loved it. And I know that you guys that have been there also do. Um, and it's such a like really awesome thing to be part of this team. So just to put it short, um, I learned three things. So Zach Sloban, just like Laura said, was really incredible. Um, he had this thing that he was saying, chop wood, carry water. Um, and he's saying, chop wood, carry water, repeat. So basically what it comes down to, you have a job to do. And every day, it's not going to be easy. Some days it's going to be difficult. But even if you have achieved your goal today, tomorrow repeats. So chop wood, carry water. And I was actually listening to his podcast today while Laura was making a million calls. Um, and he was saying that uh, in one of his podcasts, I can share it later if any of you want. He was also saying, so what, what now? So I think it's pretty much the same thing. Basically, you have a bad day or you have a bad story or whatever the case may be. So what, what now? You know, it doesn't matter. Carry on. And he, he sort of amplified that by saying, you can either choose to be in your story or you can choose to be on your story. 
So don't make your story your whole thing. You don't have to be in it, be on top of it. So just repeat that to yourself. So what, what now? Um, then Audrey McLeod was saying this um, about the four quad quadrants. I'm not sure if you guys have heard that. Some of you may have. Um, we can always explain it a bit, bit um, better later. But basically, some of you might not have the whole day. You might think, I don't have the whole day to work on isogenics. You have an hour, and you can split that hour into 15 minutes each. So the first 15 minutes basically is prospecting. So meaning go through your contacts and actually look for people that you can actually get to isogenics or meet people. It's one of the two. Either it's going to be through Facebook or it's going to be in person. That's 15 minutes. Number two is your second quadrant is going to be follow up. That's also just another 15 minutes. So if you're like me that has an insane schedule, I have 15 minutes free every now and then. It's not that difficult. So number two is going to be follow up. Number three is going to be enrollment. So actually helping your people that you're now getting. It might not be the same person. It might be someone from last week, but you actually get that person to do the enrollment. And then number four, for the guys of you that have a lot in your team already, they may be very close to a rank advancement. So go into your back office, go to your blueprint. Audrey explained it pretty good. She said, go to your blueprint and actually look who's close to your rank advancement and help them because obviously that's going to help you and then you can win ISA Derby. Um, and then the third thing is, he was saying, it wasn't Zach Sloven, one of the other guys was saying, what you do duplicates. So if you are going to live healthier, be better, be more positive, it's going to duplicate into your team and into the rest of your team, everyone that you meet, it's going to help them. So if you're gonna eat crack, sorry for the language, or if you're gonna just not do isogenics properly and you're not gonna exercise, you're not gonna work on yourself, positively then it's not going to go the better way it's going to go the reverse um and he zach Sloban also said which is to me is pretty pretty cool he said at the end of the day how do you want to be remembered he was telling us his whole story and some of you may have seen it. it was really really cool really emotional laura also talked about it um you can choose to be remembered as uh yeah she or he was a great guy or great girl or no, they really helped me. You know, they really inspired me. They made me to be better, be healthier. Um, the list goes on and on and on. But at the end of the day, just decide what do you want to be remembered for. So that's my five minutes. I think I'm going to have to get off. <laughs> Otherwise, I will be fired. Do you um, need that? <laughs> anyway, that's so guys. good. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm going to pass it now. That was amazing. Holy yeah. crap! I think I just I really needed that. Okay. So now we're going to pass to Bix. You want to take over? Hey, team. Wow, that was one of the best celebrations I've ever been to. Um, so powerful. There was but I guess probably the highlight for me was the keynote at the end, Zach Slobin. I just think this guy is so much wisdom in the industry. And so if he's talking, I mean, I'd follow him around the world. He just has so many, you know, um, concepts and things that really do relate to, you know, the network marketing journey, which I just find always so relevant. And I think the way that he started off yesterday afternoon was just so poignant and so potent because it's been true in my journey. Um, so I just found it really relatable. And he used the analogy of, uh, sculpture and the tiles so you guys that were there would have took that all in but this is a duplication business and you know when I started I wanted to I'm, I'm super independent I wanted to do any everything my own way but that just got me nowhere fast for a good two years and I just love that he started with that because it's so ever it's so such a central part of like when you're starting out You've just got to be so coachable. And if you want to get, you know, fast success, there's so many incredible leaders that you have access to within Isogenics, not just in your immediate team, but um, they've treated the tracks already, you know. So I loved how he, you know, relayed that back to us and just used that beautiful um, sentiment of you know like the tiles they wanted to be like the statue that was so beautiful and pristine and all the townsfolk would gather around it to you know to envy it and just like um I think that that's so true like you could take someone like Gabby for example you know she's had so much success but 
we all want to get to the end point without, you know, without putting in those fundamental, you know, perhaps sometimes boring steps at the start, just being coachable. I know that, you know, if you're, if you're sort of reaching out to a leader for help, um, I know, you know, often you'll, you'll receive feedback on how to go about this and just take it on board, you know, because you'll just, you'll get there a lot faster. I think being coachable is so huge in this. And I know that that stifled me a lot in the beginning because I would, take the advice and then go try and reinvent the wheel and just change things around. And it just is taking you out of the game so quickly, you know, it really is a duplication business. So just listen to what is being shared with you. Um, leaders that have been around three, four, five, six years, know a bit and they've made so many mistakes to get where they are. And I just see this time right now in Isogenics, it's just never been a more fertile time for anyone coming into this I mean, Gabs has already covered it off all on the call beautifully. I mean, I've never seen so many incentives, new money, new products, innovation. Holy shit. Like, if you can't make it in this now, um, you know, I don't know when that time's going to come. And there's just no time for complaining. You know, no time for looking around, looking left or right, wishing there was another flavor shake, wishing there was this. Just put your head down and run and be so coachable. If you're asking for help, asking for advice, do take it on board and do try it. If it doesn't quite work out for you, you can recalibrate. But yeah, I mean, most of you on the call possibly heard, I can't do it any justice, but just the way that he um, really shared the story was so cool. It just, bam, just hit us so hard. Like that really is so central to your journey is just, yeah remain coachable, don't think you know it all and, and be vulnerable. And you know, when you don't know what the hell you're doing, that's actually quite normal. <laughs> that's a natural, you know, part of, of a network marketing journey. So yeah, that's what I took away. It was a highlight, it just resonated so much. The man is amazing. So lucky that we had all these US leaders come over. I mean, and that's a clue. They, they know that New Zealand and Aussie are on the verge of another huge wave of momentum. And I, I, I just know that. This is it's going to blow up this year, so I've never been more excited. Woohoo! I love that, Bex. It's so good. Fight back! Um, I just love it. It's so cool. And um, being coachable, everything you shared, Zach was an absolute superstar. So thank you so much. Okay, who else wants to share? Kia, um, Jack, one of you guys want to take share your takeaways? Many cool. um, Go, nope. Jack. So um, biggest thing for me was getting back to basics, um, setting up a massive pipeline of events and just get inviting for that. That's the fastest way to grow your business, um, which you've done, Gabby, with all your launch parties, just came back to the country. Um, that's how you've built your whole business, basically, from my understanding. Um, so having all those lined up and just get inviting to exposures where people can sort of experience um, what we have to offer. And um, it's also where communities built and people will come for the products and the experience, but they stay for the culture and the community. So um, that was the definitely the biggest bit I got out. Um, stop trying to do it one-on-one, -on -one, but actually get leverage and um, get into room and help people see what it's really about rather than just get on a phone call. And it's quite hard to relay it there. It's much easier to do when there's a whole lot of people and um, they can actually feel the vibe of everyone else. Yeah. I love that. That is like so good because that was my message on the weekend. And you guys know, like if, if you guys see what I, what do I do every week? Have an event, have an event, invite to an event, have an event, invite to an event. That's my system to build the business. And at the event, they come along, they hear about the product, the business, the ice ready challenge, the community, everything rather than just, if you were talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, all they want to hear about is how to put on muscle. Then that's all you talk to them about. And they don't know the rest of the picture, right? So that may get you a customer, but it's never going to get you a lifelong hustling member, team member, right? And also, um, what I shared on the weekend was at my events, that's how I create consultants. Someone comes along one week and learns, hang on, this isn't just for building muscle. It's for weight loss and sleep. My sister struggled with weight loss and my dad can't sleep. So by referring them, I can earn 650 bucks. What? And that's how I create consultants. And guess what? 10 consultants equals executive, equals 30 grand and a trip to Thailand. So events are key. If you want to build this business, you've got to be hosting events, hosting them yourself. 
Don't wait for someone else to have them. I love that jacket, so good, I love it. Um, okay, one more, um, Mini Me, Kia, did you wanna share? Maybe she can't hear me, that's all good. Okay, cool, anyone else would like to share a, take, a couple of takeaways? It was such an amazing, Amanda, are you on here? Oh, she must have jumped off. Um, it was such an amazing event. I know we've gone about an hour on the call, but I hope you guys loved it. And remember, um, anyone that wants a recording, they have to message me and we'll get given a task. But what are my next action steps? My next action steps are, right, I've got to get to executive. Who's my 10? Write down the list of who's your 10 consultants going to be. They don't have to be enrolled yet, but who's your dream team? Who do you want to do this with? Write down your 10 names, five in the right, five in the left, and go to work. Oh my gosh, I've been to this incredible event in the weekend. I've seen people getting crazy, ridiculous health results and making money. And I thought of you because you could kill it. Are you open to hearing about it? You know, just invite, 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 invite. The other thing that I'm going to start back up is webinars. Okay, for people that live in the middle of nowhere, they can jump on a, a weekly webinar to learn about it. Okay. We also have, so I'll probably do that, I don't know, maybe like Tuesday night, the night's kind of get them taking up, maybe like a Tuesday night webinar for new people, Tuesday night or maybe Thursday night actually, um, because Sunday nights we've got the Forever Young Dream Team training with Peter Kelly and all the Forever Young Dream Team trainers. For you guys that don't know what the hell that is, that's like, a, that's the big team that we're a part of, like my upline and uh, Peter Kelly and all them, which are holding trainings on Sunday. So either a Tuesday or a Thursday, I'm going to run a webinar that you guys can just plug people into. They get to learn and I will run it every single week. I would love you guys to step up and say, I want to run it. I want to grow. I want to be a leader. But for me, I want to hit executive. So I'm going to put my hand up and I'm going to host every week on a, uh, probably a Thursday night. But I'd love you guys to jump on. If you've got people jumping on the webinar, I highly recommend you get on and share your story. That's the power. Your friends want to hear from you and your story and your passion. So um, that's another thing I'm doing. But events. So Wednesday night, I've got a wellness Wednesday in the Coromandel in Tyra. So anyone around Wadianga, even Tauranga, Coromandel Peninsula, um, send them to my place Wednesday night. And um, if any of you guys have got events, post them in the Leaders Go First chat and also post them in Team Kick Us. But um, yeah, that's a team. That is the recap done. So good to have you guys all on here for tonight. It was so amazing. I love seeing all your beautiful faces. And like you guys, we all together, if we link arms, we're so much more powerful together. Team Kick Ass is one of the most biggest, powerful, fastest growing teams on the planet. So we are part of this gangster ass team. We've got each other. We have a lot of fun and um, let's freaking rock it. Let's take out like four, four out of the eight spots of the Derby. Let's see how many of us can get to Crystal Executive. How many of us can get that 30 grand? Why not? I mean, who doesn't want a boob job, a new car, new kitchen, travel the world? We can all have it. Maybe we'll all get the 30 grand and be like, hey, let's go live in Bali for six months. Like there's no limit on what we can do, right? So cool. All right, guys, have an amazing night. I love you all so much. I hope that was helpful. But go out, plan your event. The Derby has started. Plan your event, lock them in, get inviting. Um, and just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Love you guys. Bye, everyone.